All right, so the first step is going to be to lower the rear end of the exhaust. You've got three hangers, one here in front of the gas tank, uh, one back on the rear diff, and then one at the very back of the car. All right, we're going to remove the four heat shield nuts. Careful when you're dropping the heat shield that you don't deform it too much. So you don't want to mess up the clearance to the carrier. All right, so now we're going to cut off the OEM carrier. We're going to make two cuts, one here on this side, one on that side, and that's going to allow us to drop the bearing out of the carrier. That's a nice job now. Hold the drive shaft before you undo the last bolt. Lower down softly. We're not going to reuse these two spacers. We're going to cut all the way around. Spread this open and get it off the drive shaft. So now we're going to clamp on the new carrier. Put this up on top. Uh, text forward. Get a bolt ready to go in the bottom half of the carrier. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. Sometimes it helps to have an extra set of hands. Once you get one bolt started, you could go. Make sure it stays nice and centered. Alternate back and forth. So you're gonna go bolt, fender washer, isolation damper, up through the carrier, and then on top, you're gonna place another isolation damper going the other way, and then your small washer. So just leave this a little loose for now. Remember, bolt, fender washer, isolation damper, carrier, isolation damper, small washer. With these loose, these holes are slotted a little bit, so you can move a little bit to the left and right. So get a good line of sight down your drive shaft and make sure you're as centered as you can be. You want the drive shaft to be perfectly straight. 